Let me hit record. So that's everybody real okay? Hi, Stephen. How are you doing today? Um, well, before we go into the case interview, I want to ask you, how would you describe your working style? Yeah, so I would describe my working style as a combination of um, patiently working, so putting putting that in as well with collaborating. Um, so I, would, I put a mix of um, spreading out between working, but also working collaboratively. So I work best in teams. Um, however, uh, when I need to do my job, I'll, I'll, I'll work uh, independently as well. So both in teams and in, in individually. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So now let's get into the case. So your client today is a CEO of a major English soccer team. He's called you while brimming with, extent, uh, with excitement after receiving news that Messi was looking for a new team. Players of Messi's quality rarely become available, and you would, you would surely improve any team with him. However, with COVID-19 restricting budgets, money would be tight. You would need to generate a return. He would like you to figure out what the right amount of money to offer would be. Great. So just to clarify, our client is the CEO of an English soccer team. Yeah. And we would like to decide how much money to offer uh, Messi mm -hmm. to join our team. Yeah. Great. Um, just a couple questions. Um, how many years would this contract be for Messi um, yeah. regarding this signing him on? Yeah, so the team's goal is actually to win the European Championship within three seasons. And due to financial restrictions, all of the players' acquisitions must be offset uh, with new revenue within five years. Great. Just to clarify, so the goal is to win the European Championship in three seasons and yeah. as well uh, come up with new revenue within five years so to make up for the cost. Yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. Um, let's see. How many, how long is the season? Six months or? Um, there is no information of how, how long a season is, but I do think in soccer, it's six months. Six months. And then once per year. Once, once per year. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, great. Thank you. Uh, do you mind if I take a minute to structure my thoughts? Yeah, you can. Thank you. No problem. Great. So, Lefri, I'd like to, um, do you mind if I come back and share my approach with you? Yes. Great. So, our goal for our CEO is to determine how much to offer Messi for a three-year contract or mm. for, for a contract. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to split up my approach into um, our, into Messi as a, as an individual. Mm -hmm. And I'd also like to look at the synergies for whether or not including Messi into our team would uh, bring any benefits for both Messi and our team. And as mm -hmm. well, I'd like to look at the over the overextending market to see what other, um, how the market is behaving in regards to uh, acquiring Messi onto other teams. Okay. As, um, yes. Yeah, as, for, as for looking at Messi as, a, as an individual, I'd like to determine how many fans he has and whether or not um, there'd be interested in bringing in fans from his fan base i'd also look at look at some of his scores and the statistics in his performance in uh games and mm -hmm. as well i'd like to look at 
um, whether or not he gets along or he, he has a certain play style and whether or not he would get along with our players. Mm-hmm. Um, as for synergies, I would like to see if he would get new fans from our um, from our um, team. And as well, I'd also look, like to look at um, whether or not um, he would be able to make a revenue on his own um, by joining with us. So not only would we make a revenue increase, but as well as him. And as well as for market, I'd like to look at what other teams are looking at um, offering Messi a contract. And as well, whether England as a location is a team that Messi would be interested in, or if other locations like Spain or uh, France or some other European markets would be interested in acquiring Messi as an, uh, as a player. Mm-hmm. So first, I would like to look at um, for our goal of how much to offer Messi in order to win a championship, I'd like to look at Messi as an individual and whether or not his scores and whether or not his play style would match our team in order to uh, win or to, to achieve our goal of winning a European championship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay, let's... I have an exhibit to show you uh, about the recent transfers of top forwards, which is a position that uh, Messi plays. Um, and we'll start there. Are you able to see the exhibit? Uh, yes, I'm able to now. Mm-hmm. Great. So in this exhibit one, we have a list of the recent transfers of top forwards to of a variety of players. Um, on the left, I see a list of five named players uh, from Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Kylian Mbappe, uh, Pierre, and Diego Costa. Uh, I'm looking at their age, their goal contributions, their transfer fee, and their transfer year. And so it looks like this would be a helpful exhibit in order to determine, um, to compare to compare our our acquisition of Messi compared to other top forwards. Mm-hmm. Um, quickly, I'm thinking that the age is not quite, um, maybe, maybe, um, maybe worth considering, um, just because, well, I'm, I'm not quite sure if age is a very important consideration as compared to the goal contributions and transfer fees, perhaps maybe an older player might be a later on in his career, but I think for, um, the ages of, um, our forwards, uh, there, there are more important considerations. Um. The transfer fees, let's say for Cristiano Ronaldo, um, an older player, I guess age would be important factor. It looks like it seems like the older the player is, Cristiano, like for example, Cristiano Ronaldo or Pierre or Diego, the transfer fee is lower than that of younger players like Neymar or Kylian Mbappe. Mm-hmm. And as well, it looks like the transfer years are similar. So I think transfer year uh, could be um, could be taken away as a, as importance. So um age gold contribution transfer fee so again the first correlation i see is that the older the player the transfer fee is lower and mm-hmm. the gold contributions um of course seem to be highest for cristiano ronaldo um but for the rest of the players the gold contributions are around the same maybe a difference of five or six or seven across the um across them but the ages are quite different so from this, I see that for the for similar goal contributions, but for younger players, transfer fee is much higher on the order mm-hmm. of magnitude of 150 million, if not more. Um, mm-hmm. And an older player with same goals contributions would be um, around the same. Um, however, um, so what I'm gaining from that is uh, for the same age, uh, for for the same number of goal contributions. Um, the younger the player, the uh, the greater the transfer fee. Mm-hmm. What I understand, uh, Messi is around the same age as Cristiano Ronaldo and has a among the same transfer base. So, with Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, with Messi being an older player, but as well with um, higher goal contributions, I would like to think that um, offering offering Christian, offering Messi a lower transfer fee than that of Neymar and Mbappe, but greater than that of Pierre and Diego, um, I would imagine that his transfer fee for for Messi would be 
uh, within around the range of Cristiano Ronaldo. So maybe um, the range could be set to about um, 100 million to 150 million. So that's initially the range of transfer fee that I'm considering as we look at exhibit one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now to move forward, like with the multiple in mind, the candidate, you know, you, you kind of, um, would you like to know that Messi's goal contribution? So how many goals he's able to contribute to that season of the game? Yes. Yes. Um, as both, I was wondering if, um, what actually is Messi's age currently? And yes, also his goal contribution. Yeah, Messi's age currently. Um, Messi is currently, I believe, we do not have his age, but we do know that um, he contributed or scored or assisted 55 goals in the last season. Um, and, uh, you know, and so, and that suggests that he will sell for a multiple of 2.6x, giving him a value of 143 million. Great. Uh, for a transfer fee. Uh, yes, for the transfer fee. So with Messi's goal being 55 goals per season um, and with the transfer fee of 143 million, um, mm -hmm. if I have the right idea, 143 million would be the transfer fee. However, um, that would be the transfer fee, but not his overall contract for multiple years. And so I'm wondering if there's any information on, um, on a fee per year kind of information on each of these players uh, following the transfer. Yeah, um, there is no fee per year uh, information. Um, uh, yeah, there is no This is the value cost to have Messi and then um, and uh yeah so oh. 55 goals per season basically and his value is 143. Okay. No. um i'm so sorry the 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 wi-fi cut out for a second all i all i heard was um um could you repeat what you just said just for a yeah minute? so i said that there is no other like in, in terms of incremental cost of what messi's paid there is no value just that he that the payment is 143. okay 143 million uh, so that's within the range of 100 to 150 million mm -hmm. um and so um that would be the transfer fee um of if, if that's the case um that would seem to be the cost that would be to bring in uh Messi as a player um mm -hmm. next I would like to decide is there is there any way that we could um learn what um what kind of revenue he would bring in as a player whether a fan base or uh you know merchandise or anything else as we now know how much it would cost to bring him on yeah, um, one second. Um, uh, yes, perfect. So you can move on to brainstorming how our client makes money. So what are the ways you think this English team, uh, soccer team makes money? Great, thank you. Um, could I have a brief moment to structure my thoughts? Yes, of course. So I would like to split up the um, the the contributions that Messi would make for our sports team in regards to uh, qualitative and quantitative measurements. Um, so quantitative, um, he would bring in revenue in the form of uh, merchandise, uh, probably brand partnerships and mm -hmm. ticket sales, and um, uh, among those lines. So I, I would say merchandise partnerships with advertisements and other companies and mm -hmm. as well uh, ticket sales for more of our customers and as well also uh, wins so tournament wins in mm -hmm. uh, regards to that revenue and as mm -hmm. well brand I would like to say that Messi is a name brand um, which would improve the uh, perceived value of our sports teams for you to come and as well um, if we were to win a championship it would also bring in a uh, more of a brand recognition for our sports team. Um, so in this, um, I would like to look at whether or not, um, whether or not the the monetary values. I I would imagine 
that um, tournaments as a revenue is lower than that of the other monetary benefits. Um, mm -hmm. So I'd like to look at whether um, the fans from Messi would bring in greater uh, merchandise or ticket sales and whether or not those revenues would make up for uh, some of the transfer fee costs. Yeah, before we move on to that, um, could you consider what other, there's two more um, sort of revenue streams that you could have here. So with one of them, think about what people, the people watching the game can consume mm -hmm. while they're sitting there. And what are other ways people can watch the game? Like instead of in the stadium, there's another mode in which these soccer games are broadcast, right? Great. Yeah. So I would say that advertisements, um, advertise, we would bring in more advertisements to our games uh, as they watch on TV. Uh, and as well with um, so that would be that would be one way that um, we would bring in a monetary brand by advertisements while the players oh while the fans are watching Messi on TV, mm -hmm. and as well uh, not only advertisements but I would imagine not only advertisements when they're watching television uh, as they're watching our sports teams play, but as well did you mention the the mode? In which our fans would be watching. Yeah. So one way that your fan, the fans watch the, so there's people in the stadium, so they're watching the game, and then there's another form of revenue that you, another revenue stream is TV and streaming broadcasting of the game. Mm -hmm. Then the yeah. other one would be food and beverage revenue. So the people who have come into the stadium watch, they're eating, right? But you yeah, got the yeah, exactly. And partnership revenue, and you got the merchandise sales. Yeah, yeah, I, I see now. So yeah, the food and beverage. Um, just like going to the movie theater or just like going to yeah, any exactly. game, yeah. uh, food yeah. and beverage with high yeah. markup costs would be a yeah. great source of revenue. So you basically now you wanted to know information about um, what's going on with the current uh, channel? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see, I'd like to see whether there's a um, split of uh, a breakdown on, on what revenue streams are largest with the okay. addition of Messi. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let me share some of that information with you. So the team plays 25 home matches per year with the an average ticket price of $50 per match. The stadium has about 60,000 seats and usually it's full at about 83.33% capacity. Um, so let's just summarize, there are 25 home games that our that our team plays, fifty dollars ticket price, six thousand mm -hmm. seats and eighty three point three three percent capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, so from this I'd like to use these numbers to calculate um the revenue um mm -hmm. per season that uh Messi would bring uh, yeah. is this eighty three point three capacity before or after Messi would be added onto our team? This is considering uh decisions general uh, at large. So this is the current performance of the stadium performance. Um, okay. and that's the information for the ticket revenue i have information for the other revenue streams too would you like to calculate this first before i give you that information or after yes yes i'll, I'll go ahead and calculate this first okay. um so just quickly 60,000 60,000 seats um at a capacity of just to determine how many seats are sold and that's how many tickets are sold uh 60,000 seats at 83 percent capacity um, I would eighty three percent is, uh, sixteen or sixteen percent. So that would be a eight. Yeah. Yes. It it will be a seven. It would be a hundred divided by seven. Right. It would be one. I'm just trying to determine how much eighty three percent. Well, regardless, eighty three percent um divided by hundred. So eighty three divided by hundred is sixty times. 80%. So that is about 50,000 50, seats are sold per game mm -hmm. on average, um, mm -hmm. multiplied by $50 per ticket. Mm -hmm. so that would be um, so that would be a revenue of $2.5 million per mm -hmm. ticket. Mm -hmm. And times that by 25 games, that would be a total uh, revenue of ticket sales per season to be uh, it would be six hundred six point two five oh sixty two point five million dollars in sales from ticket sales per season. Mm -hmm. Currently, yeah. And so that would be before Messi. 
Uh, yeah, so this is the current performance. The performance, okay. So that that sixty two point five million dollars, um, with the sign on cost of, uh, Messi as a uh, one hundred forty three million dollars. Um, mm. currently ticket sales would not even make up fifty percent of, uh, Messi's um Messi's transfer fee. So, from that, so, let's go into that after you calculate all the revenue streams. To then, you know, you can calculate the uh, return on investment for us moving forward with Messi. Absolutely. Um, yes. Give you the information. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Next. Next. Would you have any information on other revenue streams? Yeah. So each fan typically spends ten dollars on food and beverages. The TV rights are assigned based on popularity. So the team currently receives one hundred and fifty million per year in revenue. These sponsors currently pay 50 million a year. In the past, the team has sold 1 million jerseys at the price of $100 each, but they only received 25% margin on that. Now, given this information, you can attempt to calculate the current revenue uh, in total. Great. Mm -hmm. um, so really briefly, I will first make a table of each of these um, each of these calculations. So first we have ticket sales that we calculated at 62.5 million mm -hmm. as our ticket sales. Um, food and beverage, um, mm -hmm. you said that $10 per, is on average of $10 per fan is mm -hmm. uh, spent at each game. And so just briefly using the numbers that I had before, $10 mm -hmm. per fan multiplied by the number of ticket sales. So it'd be six, again, it would be 60,000, 80% which is comes out to 50,000 um 50,000 fans at each game um so that'd be $500,000 in food and beverage revenue per game uh multiply that by 25 games making that 120 1.5 2.5 12.5 million dollars in food and beverage sales uh not including the cost of goods sold so mm -hmm. Twelve point five million dollars, um, which makes sense because, um, because ten dollars, you know, the, it, because the number of number of fans that um, the cost per ticket is uh, fifty dollars as opposed to ten dollars. That is a food and beverage sold on average. For the TV rights, um, it's one hundred fifty million dollars per um, per revenue. So. $150 million would be our number for a TV rights to be sold um, as revenue. And then for our sponsor, for our, um, for the merchandise sold, um, we, have, we sell $1 million, uh, 1 million um, units of merchandise at a $100 per each. Mm -hmm. um, but calculating for that 25% profit margin, that would be 25 a million dollars in profit from the um, from the merchandise. Um, you also mentioned a sponsorship deal for one hundred fifty dollar, one hundred fifty million dollars per year. Um, and calculating um over the five years that we have, um, that we would like to um make a make a profit over. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that would be um five times. Five times one hundred fifty million, which would be, which would be seventy seventy seven hundred fifty million dollars per year. Yes, one hundred fifty million times five years. Yes, it'd be seven hundred fifty million dollars. So adding this all up, the sixty two point five million. Well, just a quick question: What is the what is the sponsor one hundred fifty million dollars per year revenue stream? Elaborate on that. Yeah, so the uh, sponsors, they're currently paying 50 million a year. So 50 million per year. Yeah, you don't, and the broadcast was the 150 million in revenue. So that's the TV rights. So people that watch the soccer game at home. Um, but you don't have to calculate that value, the sponsorship. You don't have to calculate it for five years. So the, all, since the other numbers are for the current revenue, you just have to calculate it per year. So okay, per year. I see, yeah. I see, per year. Just account um, for the 50 million, yeah. Great, so 50 million is just per the year and we're calculating annually. So mm -hmm. from all this, um, tickets being 62.5 million plus the 12.5 million of food and beverage, that mm -hmm. would be 
uh, 85, 75, 75 million dollars, mm -hmm. um, plus 150, 150 of TV rights, it's 225 million, plus the 25 million from the uh, merchandise, 250, um, plus the 50 million of sponsorship deals. So I come up from a bringing in Messi as a, um, as a player would bring in an additional 300 million dollars in revenue per year. Yeah, 300 million? Per year, yes. Perfect. Great, so from this from this revenue, from this uh, new um, idea for revenue and with the uh, cost of bringing on uh, Messi at $145 million, um, I can see that uh, by year by year, um, the revenue coming in would be, um, would be would make up for the cost of Messi in bringing him on transfer fee. Um, if there's any, uh, if there's any way to move forward, I'd also like to look at the cost because we have calculate the revenue yeah. for yeah. Um, bringing Messi. But are there any costs associated? Yeah. Um. So the incremental costs and benefits associated with the transfer are as following. So given Messi's significant commercial draw, the team would expect to sell out every home game and charge $15 more per ticket. The broadcast revenue would increase by 10% and spot the sponsorship would be doubled. Last year, Messi had the highest selling jersey in the world, selling 2 million units. The team expects to sell that uh, that many each year of his contract, but it would cannibalize 50% of its current jersey sales. Pricing margins would remain the same. Messi is the second highest paid, uh, well, second highest player in the world with a salary of uh, 100 million per year. His agent takes a 10% fee annually. Great. Um, so in the incremental cost, that means I want to calculate how much um, having Messi added onto our um, added into our roster, how much that we would um, how much the increase of cost as well as revenue would affect our margins. Mm -hmm. So just to recap, I want to make a, um, a summary of what we've calculated so far. So before Messi, so Pre-signing Messi, um, mm -hmm. our ticket sales account for $62.5 million of revenue. Mm -hmm. Our food and beverage sales account mm -hmm. for $12.5 million. Mm -hmm. And our TV rights account for $150 million. Mm -hmm. And our sponsorship... Oh, no, our sponsorship... Yes, our sponsorship accounts for $50 million. Mm -hmm. And our... Um, our one million. Yes, our merchandise sales are account for twenty five million dollars. Yeah. So post post adding on Messi, mm -hmm. post adding Messi. Um, our ticket revenue would increase. Our ticket cost would increase by fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. So if increase of fifteen dollars per ticket, um, mm -hmm. would mean that our overall ticket revenue. Would increase by, um, um, would be forty dollars instead of twenty five dollars. So briefly multiplying sixty two point five million. The um, the current ticket. Sorry, I'm just gonna. The current ticket price is fifty dollars, right? Yes. Yes. The current ticket price is fifty dollars. Thank you. Yes, that's the current ticket price, fifty dollars, and so increasing by. 15. Um, yeah. Oh, 50 or 50? 15, one five. So we, it'll be $15 more. Yes, yes, yes. So now now the ticket price will be $65. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to originally what was 50. Mm -hmm. So um, $15 more. So the original price being $50, um, I'll, um, I'll convert the original 62 million in ticket revenue um, to mm -hmm. what would be if it was $65 per ticket rather than 50. Mm -hmm. uh, multiplying that briefly, um, 6.25 divided by 5, 1.25 million uh, times 65. 
that would be that would be about eighty dollar eighty million dollars in revenue now from tickets, um, and from the food and beverage. Before you move on to um, that, so did you account for that now that Messi is going, going to be there, they're selling out every home game. So every, the fill rate, um, which was, I believe. 80, 80, yes, 80%. will now be selling yeah. out every single game. Yes. Yeah, so it'll be right. 100%, right? You're right about that. Yes. Um, let me go back and calculate it. Um, so 60,000 seats now are mm. full capacity, multiplied mm. by $65 per ticket. Yeah. Uh, multiplied by 25 home games per season, per year. Um, that will be, just briefly calculating, um, 65 times 25. So um, that would be 5 times 60,000. We would now be, uh, we would now, uh, having sold out every tickets, we'd now be making one hundred thirty-three point five million dollars in revenue from tickets. One hundred thirty-three. One hundred thirty-three. One hundred thirty-three million dollars in tickets okay. for revenue. Yeah, if you want to do it again, the number is ninety-seven point five. Ninety-seven point five. Um, great. Let me check that again. So, at sixty-five dollars a ticket, times mm -hmm. a full capacity of sixty thousand dollars per ticket mm -hmm. um that would be so we there would be per game we'd be making a revenue of two point five two point uh two point one million dollars mm -hmm. and multiply by that for 25 games yes you are right it would be but 2.5 million times 25 game 2.1 million dollars times 2.5 games per mm -hmm. year um, that would be $52.5 million from tickets. Um, yeah, so you currently... 90, you said 90. Yeah, 95. And uh, let's just go over that one minute. Yeah. So 60,000 seats multiplied by 100% fill rate multiplied by $65 per ticket then multiplied by 25 games. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me... Let me... Let me briefly. Yeah, take, yeah, just let's take a look. Take your time. Yeah, thank you. No problems. I see. I see. Yeah, ninety-seven point five million dollars in ticket sales. Mm -hmm. So that would be the revenue from ticket sales. Um, the food and beverage being ten dollars on average per um per per ticket per per person attending the attending the the event would be there would be sixty thousand dollars sixty thousand attendees at twenty five mm -hmm. twenty five uh games per year mm -hmm. is ten so that'd be twenty five that'd be six hundred thousand times twenty five which means that there would be fifteen million dollars, um, fifteen million dollars in revenue from food and beverage. Mm -hmm. So, and then from TV sales, the broadcast sales would increase by ten percent. Mm -hmm. So, one hundred fifty million plus ten percent, one hundred sixty-five mm -hmm. million. Mm -hmm. TV. Uh, the sponsorship would double, and so we now have a sponsorship uh, of a hundred million dollars. Mm -hmm. And merchandise we would be adding, um, they would cannibalize fifty percent of our current sales. So now of the original merchandise, we sell twelve point five. We sell, uh, fifty percent. Mm -hmm. We sell we sell excuse me five hundred thousand units of our original merchandise. However, mm -hmm. we add, um, we add two million units. So now we we sell, uh, two point five million units of merchant units of merchandise with the addition of Messi. With the, um, with the twenty five percent profit margin, so at a hundred dollars each, for every hundred dollars we make twenty five dollars. So dividing two point five million by four, we reach sixty. 
62.5 million dollars in revenue from mm -hmm. merchandise. Yeah, that's good. So adding these all together, um, I'm gonna just briefly round 97.5 million to 100 million. 100 million adding the food and beverage is 115 million plus 165. That is 280 million plus 62.5 million for merchandise. That means we have a 342.5 million dollars in revenue per year. Um, per year, and that compared to our original figure of pre adding Messi to our uh, roster of 300 million dollars a year, per means that per per year we are making 42.5 million dollars more with the addition of Messi on our team. However, accounting for accounting for Messi um being the second highest paid second highest paid um second highest paid um, the second highest paid um athlete per year at a hundred million dollars per year. Um that would mean that although we're making a increase of forty two point five million dollars per year in revenue, um have paying Messi a hundred million dollars per year means that we're actually losing about sixty sixty million dollars per year in in purchasing mess in, in, in messy salary. So from mm -hmm. that um from that or my conclusion that um even by adding messy and increasing the revenue of having messy on our team, the being messy being the si second highest paid um athlete in the world at hundred million dollars a year, we'd actually be losing uh in profit. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so do you think you're ready for your recommendation? Yes. Um, yes. I have a brief moment to collect my thoughts. Yeah, go ahead. Please. Great. So just to recap uh, to the CEO, um, in our goal of how much we should um we should in the goal of uh considering how much we should um pay for bringing on Messi as a new uh forward onto our team mm -hmm. um we would recommend that adding Messi to our team would not be a profitable maneuver in um in regards to our soccer team mm -hmm. uh the reason for this is that even though Messi bringing on as our player would increase um our our sponsorship, TV rights, ticket sales, and food and beverage, and so overall leading to an increase of revenue. Um, adding Messi into our team, uh, not only with the average salary per year um, for having Messi on our team, as well as the transfer fee that cost Messi, we actually be losing uh, around forty million dollars in revenue per year, uh, let alone the transfer fee. Mm -hmm. And so um, from that, the the decrease in profit from um, from adding Messi to our team would mean that our team would be actually losing money uh, by adding Messi rather than uh, rather than gaining. Uh, the risk associated with this would be that uh, Messi would bring some other sort of revenue that's not um, that's not uh, mentioned above. But um, however, um, however, uh, another 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 uh, risk would be that um, Messi would be would take a pay cut for whatever reason uh, in order to join our team. And so for um, for our next steps, I'd like to look at uh, whether Messi as a player has preferences or whether or not he'd like to join a um, an English soccer team um, and take a salary cut or uh, any other reason uh, to reduce the cost. So um, the assumptions that Messi would uh, take it, the averages of his um, of his current salary and transfer fee. Um, mm. I like to look at whether Messi as a player has any reason to come to Europe as our team that we're reducing the salary cut or any other reduced cost. All right. Thanks, Steven. We're going to offer you the job right now, 100K tomorrow. You know, it's done. Really? Oh, <laughs> my God. Well, how was that? How was that? That was okay? It was good. Like, you really quick math. But we'll go over it together. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh. Okay. You did good, though. Quick math, okay, thank you. you hit all the right points, like in terms of like where we should go next. 
which is really good. Um, like each time you set your, it's like, okay, you're following along. Like what they're saying should be the next step is where you're going. So let's go over a few things. So with the behavioral interview question, if you want, I think you can follow a format of uh, point, example, explain. So if they ask you like, what's your um, working style? You explain what it is. So you're like, my working style is collaborative yet uh, independent. And then you can give an example like, oh, you know, in school or your last job, you were working on a project like this. And then this is how you, you do your individual work, but you like to collaborate and come together to make sure you're on point with whatever the objective is. And that's what you're explaining. And the example was your assignment because then you're showing that you put more effort into making sure they understand what your work style is then opening you hit all the points uh, one thing here they mentioned that um like you could ask like how does the team make money that would be an important question here because we're trying to determine if Messi is worth the money so it's like yes the, so there's the object of Messi what we would pay him and then the revenue we're bringing in right so it's a good question but it's good you ask like what the team's goal is like winning in the um three seasons then with your framework, um, I wrote structure, uh, you hit all the points, like you mentioned that Messi, you want to look at like how good he is and all that. Um, another good thing here was uh, to mention age, like how many years will this person play still? Um, will he want to come? And are there cheaper alternatives to that player and language barriers? Another important thing would be risk. So um, them getting injured and like not actually being able to play or wanting to leave in a few years. Um, maybe they won't get along with people in our team. You know, so that, that all factors in as well, because maybe he won't want to come and like our investment, like doing this analysis is pointless then, right? And then uh, and then you did account for like the financials, like you did consider, oh, there's new revenue, there'll be some sort of cost. And then also like competitors is another thing, right? That um, are other people going to be competing for him, which is most likely the case with Messi. Then here you mentioned the right thing, like moving forward into kind of like a brainstorming of the different cash flows. Um, and like you, you didn't really, um, add, so I, I was supposed to ask you to uh, review the exhibit, which is right. So like, then we went over to this here. Uh, some of the notes were that uh, apparently like you would want to calculate the transfer fee to full contributions. So it's like, if this person's oh. like, paying, like Ronaldo 117, how many goals is he making for that? So then, uh, you know, on average, most of them make like five X. So they're, that's the contribution. Right. Um, but then if that was still OK, I think, because you still at the end, like how to move forward. You asked how old he is. And then I give you sort of what he valued at. Right. The one twenty three. Mm -hmm. then over here, when we got to the calculations, you did a good job at like the brainstorming. But the you mentioned yeah, some key ones. Yeah. Yeah. So you said like yeah. wins, like, they don't get money for like the number of wins. Like that's just going to help their rep in a way. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. The food and beverage one and you missed the tv and streaming broadcasting revenue but yeah. then you got the ones which is good so you, you were able to get like two out of five but you know <laughs> yeah yeah then we moved on to giving you information about the revenue streams which is good mm -hmm. but like over here you kind of moved into calculating already but like just wait to get all the information first right mm -hmm. um yeah. And then, then you did this well, like you calculated correctly and everything. My only thing here is you communicate like this is what you're doing, 50, 25, but like in the beginning, maybe set up an equation, like this is the factors I'm considering, explain it to the person and then do the math. Because you're good at the math, like you know the numbers, but just to understand like what's the equation you've set up and then the person can give you input as to if you're doing setting up the right equation, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that was good. Then... Um, and down here too, you hit the right um, points. Like we moved on to giving you information about the cost. Um, and then over here, what they calculated uh, is using the new, so they got the new revenue is 440. Um, I'm not sure what the numbers went off here exactly, but um, so they oh, used the new revenue and old revenue to see what the incremental revenue would be of getting messy. So the 140, then they looked at the in incremental cost, which is like what we're uh, paying the new salary, which is the 110, right? And the fees. Yeah. Then what the profit looks like, then they noted the upfront cost oh, and the payback period. So oh, the, pay, yeah. the payback period would be under five. I don't exactly see how where they got five from, but I guess yeah. it's because um Yeah, I was I was off by hundred I had three hundred forty million dollars. They have yeah, I don't know where the hundred where no, the I, I missed it's the TV sales. I I because I had all the all of them <laughs> right except the TV the TV mm -hmm. rights. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what happened to the TV rights? So what happened to them is, oh, there's a 10% increase. So they did 150 multiplied by 110%. Okay. Sponsorship, it's 100 million, 260 mm -hmm. million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, I yeah. didn't add a hundred million. Oh, I missed. I didn't add a hundred million. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Add At least you just addition. You're good. You're yeah, I, I, I just, I didn't circle. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you, 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 can multiply yeah. big numbers, buddy. You're fine. Okay, cool. All right, I, I yeah. just, I just did. Oh, I, I, I ha oh, okay. Yeah, I just, I just missed that one hundred million, and then yeah. okay, so yeah. Then... Good. Like, you, you moved along with all the calculations. It just that here they also calculated the like they're like, oh, a great candidate will realize this investment will break even in under five years, right? Yeah, How did yeah. they do that? I'm curious, right? Because I guess they're accounting for the fact that um, the incremental revenue like is 140, the cost is 143. So then I guess, I don't yeah, know where they're going to So the so new revenue, minus old revenue, okay, 100. Yeah, yeah. So I, okay, so I, I, I yeah, 140 million, that makes sense. Incremental cost, 110. So they, you know, the salary of, the salary mm -hmm. of, yeah, the salary of, of, of Messi is 100 million. And then I think I think the merchandise the merchandise is subtracted as well like another so thirty million upfront costs bunch of forty oh, okay so so how did okay. they get, they're dividing the um yeah. the cost by the profit yeah yeah so so the the increase the increased revenue we have is um mm -hmm. hundred forty million a year and mm -hmm. then upfront is one forty three right so it's one forty three plus thirty 30 million uh per year and so what is that so 140 140 x equals 170 plus yeah 30 x um so that's 110 x so you're adding the incremental revenue Wait, shit, what am i doing the uh i'm just trying to figure out a uh, number of years how they got five years yeah so, so let me review like payback period yeah so that would be the cost so payback period, well, how I forgot these formulas. So the initial yeah, investment, so the initial investment is the 143, uh, right? 143, divided yeah. by the cash flow per year, oh, which 30. is the 140. So five, yeah, five years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How do yeah. You, I don't get how they still got five years. Uh, well, because because the initial investment is is the 143 million, um, yeah. right? And then the the incremental profit is the 30 million. Because wait, okay, mm. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so new, okay, yeah, so, it's not so the cash we, so we're looking at the profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we have the new revenue, which is 140 million per year. However, mm -hmm. by signing on like Messi, mm -hmm. I'm not sure where they got an extra 10 million, but but by signing on Messi, by signing on Messi, he has an, a salary of 100 million dollars per year, and so then that results in mm -hmm. um yeah yeah five years yeah the, the, I, I I guess I. The math the from his, uh, like you see they said here, his agent yeah. takes a 10% fee. Oh, so, yeah, that's it. Oh, minutes. I missed that. Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. I missed that. Fine. That's why. That's why. Oh, okay, five years. Okay, and then cool. Mm -hmm. And that's what, what else does yeah. go on to say? Yeah, yeah. Okay. and then it's like, oh, another great candidate would, would uh, realize that the transfer breaks even. But when you want to you want to dive there. into the oh. so you look at that. Like there's other old players that have a high wages and the risk of injury. Then the recommendation was actually that oh you can offer Messi 140. Like don't offer him 143. Offer him 140, which is what we're making. And then even with the annual salary of 100 million, the incremental revenue will break even in five mm -hmm. years. And that players like Messi are rare, and it would be an achievement for the team to like get him on the team. But then like the risk they include like there's financial projections that show there's gonna be a, like an aggressive uphill in the revenue, but they're gonna be hard to obtain, right? Like we saw, um, and this is a huge investment for an old player, right? Who isn't gonna stay that long. And the next steps are actually to do due dil due diligence and to see if it's actually a feasible revenue model, and then also also lock in uh, the sponsorship deals that you know align with Messi, so we can. Oh. Get Okay. Wow. So just, I mean, I, you, I think you were done quite fast too, like 40 yeah. minutes. Like 40 we minutes? Time. Yeah, you were done the case of 40 minutes. You were done your um, structure. I'll try the time here in a minute and 40. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. A minute and four seconds or a minute 40? A minute, a minute and, uh, no, it's a minute and four seconds. And they were like, you know, you know the. Yes, yes. Yeah. Four sec I, I, I barely. I, my case coach said to do it fast. My structure was actually, but anyways, anyways, this is lucky because this is basically a merge and acquisition case. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, and I just did an M and A with my, um, with mm. my case coach, and he said basically, if, it was. Mm. It, I mean, I didn't do well. I didn't do well when I did it, but yeah. like he said, he said like as, once you do one M and A case, you've basically done them all. And so like okay. with this one, yeah, you can. I I yeah, I didn't do that. Yeah. I did well on this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah you did well. I, I think you this went well. And then how was that MA case that interesting though? Yeah, it was okay. I mean I, I sent it over to you, but it was basically just like a like a burger thing. Like um okay, okay. oh should 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 this burger like like this McDonald's kind of Burger King, like Wendy's kind of deal, should they mm. should they acquire like a donut company, like a happy okay, donuts okay. or like a you know, or like a whatever kind of <laughs> so um yeah. So it was basically merge and acquisition. But um yeah. yeah. No, that's good though. But like Stephen, like from from the first case we did together too, it's like you're very structured. Like the, the basic points of like the opening, the closing, you have that yeah. down. Then like in terms of driving the case, you drive it properly. Yeah. Only the only issue we had here was the brainstorming, which is a very small issue, right? It's just that if you thought it, if you just sat there and like thought more, like people watch where do people watch soccer, TV and in the stadium. In the stadium, people can eat stuff. You know what I mean? Like that. Uh, yeah, just, exactly. Um, and yeah. then you were right with the ROI and everything, just like the like yeah. payback period. No one asked yeah, you to calculate yeah. it. It's just the extra thing, you know? Yeah. You consider the, you know, the break even there. So that was fine. And just the recommendation you came to wasn't the same. I think these are yeah. small things. Yeah, I think, I think, I think what would help me is my note taking. I just, I'm like all over, my notes are just really messy, yeah. but yeah. anyways, but yeah. Okay, cool. This was, this was good. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No um, 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah. That's really good. Like within 40 minutes and like you're, you're fast with the math. That's really good. You know, cool. um, considering the size of the numbers. Um, and then what else was here? Yeah. Just the future of revenue, you were off by hundred and you couldn't recognize where you went wrong. So that's also yeah, a good yeah. Oh. Right? Like when you're like, oh my God, where did I lose a number? Like that's a problem, right? Like yeah, really yeah, lose, right. Um, yeah, I, and then... yeah. So I, I hold on, I'm, I'm gonna show myself to you. I uh, so I mean, I mean, you, you, I, I don't need to show you. Basically, basically, I had all the numbers written down and I circled yeah. the ones I did do, and I had a hundred million. I'm like, crap, I didn't circle that one. Yeah, I just, yeah. yeah. No, but like you know, they said that even the graph paper, like write the digits within this, the like the graph. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna help us too because that's more structured. But that requires us to be uh, neater and like you know more careful. Um, something else that you did really well too was like with the exhibit, you noticed like the points they wanted you to notice, which is like the, you know, the older players trade for lower multiples than the younger ones, right? Um, so that was a good point too. Like you hit all the right points. Over there, they just wanted you to calculate one thing, which is like, Multiple it's fine. Yeah. Just, yeah. But they, just calculate like in your own mind kind of thing. Like they, no one asks, like nowhere here does it say that you should have those numbers. Like it just says over here. Yeah. You know? Exactly right. Yeah, definitely do the multiples. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Because definitely. Okay. So yeah, I. I. This was. This was. This was okay. This was good, but okay. You know, this was. Yeah. I, I definitely have a lot to improve still. Um. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh. Anything else? I'll stop the recording now. If that's the case. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing else. Like, we, when do you? So what's today? Today's Thursday. When do you want? We're we'll doing another case on Monday, right? Um. Do you want to do one tomorrow? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, I could do one.